going on guys? Trist McCormick here. We're at the beautiful Lake Hartwell, Anderson, South Carolina. As you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful day out there. Me and John Garrett here, we are excited to get out there, throw around some sexy dogs, some caffeine shads, and, and see what the challenges are out there and see how see how the lake's fishing today. Yeah, we're in the first, we're actually the first week of fall. We're starting to get a little cool weather, have a hurricane coming in in a couple days, so it's gonna be a little challenging. Hopefully we have some good bites and have a good time out there. What's going on guys? We made it. We're at the beautiful Lake Harwell, Anderson, South Carolina. Tristan McCormick, John Garrett here. We're gonna slide out here, see if we can catch them on a sexy dog, caffeine shad, rage swimmer. They should be biting. We're starting to get in that weather transition from the fall. So we're super excited, got warm clothes on. John, you know, we grew up together fishing, started out, we both went to Bethel University, and now it's amazing to be working together with Losing Strike King. Hey, and we're gonna go out here and have a lot of fun today and hopefully catch a lot of fish. Yeah, like Tristan said, we've been fishing together for a while, so we're gonna give each other a hard time. Maybe one of us catch more than the other, and maybe we don't. Hopefully we put a few fish in the boat. It's definitely gonna be a competition. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a good time. Like Tristan said, we're just getting the first week of fall. These spotted bass and largemouth on these herring lakes, their eyes are used to it being level and down, feeding close to the bottom. Now they're starting to move up. So we're gonna be trying to draw those fish out of deep water. Hopefully get some good top water bites, definitely get a little caffeine shad action. We're looking forward to it. We got a hurricane coming up and the fish know that. So they're gonna be biting. They're gonna be biting. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Yep. So thing was so clear I couldn't hardly see it. Oh gosh. You know, thought I'd test out a little throw on a top water. Had a knot already dug in my braid. It snapped off. Here's the deal. We're getting a bad luck out of the way right off the bat. Hopefully. Tristan gave me a bad reel. Yeah. Blame it on me. <laughs> lost, I've seen the light. I've seen the light. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I've seen the light. I've seen the light. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I've seen the light. I've seen the light. You know, as far as colors go on, like for today and all Heron Lakes, chrome is really big because those heron they just have such a shiny chrome finish so like this splash is chrome we're throwing chrome sexy dogs really bright reflective colors on our jerk baits like the caffeine shads we're throwing is the same blue back heron colors we can get cream pot it did he he's just a little bitty guy who cares? That's awesome, dude. God, they're pretty though, aren't they? Beautiful little spot. What we're after right there. Pretty little spotted bass. Hold them for a sec. They're going crazy on something. Oh, my lord. That's how it's supposed to happen. Oh, I got them all in now. Yeah. Calm down, baby. <sighs> Pretty spotted bass. See how fat they are? They're out there heating that air. And that's what they're supposed to do to a pretty one. So Tristan and I actually grew up not far from each other really at all, just a couple hours. And we actually went to the same college. We've been fishing with each other since our freshman year at Bethel. 2016, and uh, we both grew up on Kentucky Lake, so we saw each other out there yep. a lot. Spent a lot of time in a boat, and today, we kind of, we hadn't got to do this in a while because we've been so busy traveling, fishing a lot, and uh, you know, it was relaxing, but we did have to behave a little bit. We you know? did, we did. We had to make sure we catch yeah. something on the camera. Yeah, yeah. got to make sure we catch something. It brings back a lot of memories. Felt like college. Yep, yeah, just back like college. Good times, yep. Back there behind that boat. Got him? <laughs> little caffeine shot in the face. Pretty little spot. Look how fat they are. Mm -hmm. 
So we knew going into it first thing this morning, you know, the bite might be a little tough, like we suspected. Yeah. And, uh, but we knew, cause it's like, it's, it's where those mornings are starting to get cool, it's hitting that fall transition. So those fish are really not getting active and chasing a lot until about noon and on, which is exactly what yeah, happened today. It, so. That's what happened. It, it started to warm up through the day. It was slick calm this morning. It had another reason why it was really slow. Wind picked up. Wind picked up. We got a little chop on the water and this afternoon was a lot better than the morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Rage swimmer. Can't Looks tell. like a good one too. Can't tell what size he is. Healthy one. Yeah, they are. Get all the good out of them. There, one just swam up with them. Look how fat that thing is. Two seven five rate swimmer. Put a gut on it. We're having a lot of fish come up, but not committing to the caffeine shad and sexy dog. So I just went something smaller and I got a pretty decently heavy weight on there so I can still keep it above them, but reel it faster. So we just thought we would change it up and it worked on one. So maybe it'll work on a few more. It didn't take very long either. So that's no, always a good sign. First place with it, so. Oh my. Oh, get it. Dude, I got him. Yes, baby. That ain't the same one. Did you see the one that blew up on that thing? Had a giant blow on me and I caught the little one. That's how it always goes. Look at him busting out there, Tristan. Little and aggressive. They're pretty. They never go gently for you, do they? Did you see that big one blow on that thing? My God. Did y'all see that? Mm, yes, sir. That's all I need to see. Yes, sir. <laughs> We've seen them. Topwater kings here. So the two main baits today, and kind of what we suspected going into it, was a Strike King Sexy Dog and a Caffeine Shad, and it's really for the profile to match the bait fish the heron they're feeding on. Right, and today we caught some we caught some nice spotted bass that spit up some blue heron and largemouth. They're both feeding on them, but the profile of the blue heron and the caffeine shad and the sexy dog is identical. You wanna match the hatch out here when you're chasing blueback heron fish. Yep, and another thing is these spots in largemouth, they're looking up, and by us using a sexy dog and a caffeine shad, we could keep our baits high and, and come to us and with the speed so there's very few baits that allow you to do that those are two probably the best baits out yeah. there for yeah. for heron lakes definitely a one-two punch for yep. lake hartwell and any heron lake in the country oh that's a big one dude yes sir gosh that's a big one you mean grab them no you're good i mean a freaking big one Four pounder. I feel more stressed right now. <laughs> yeah. There he comes. That's a big one. It's a freaking pretty one. Put the scars on her back. That's the ones you're after right there. That's a Lake Hartwell special. Look how fat. So yeah, the days, you know, it's, it's kind of been tough, but I mean, we're, we've thrown at hundreds of bass, but they're just following it. We can't get them to react. It's, you know, it's slicked off out here. A little wind definitely wouldn't hurt, but <clears throat> the philosophy is, like we were saying earlier this morning, you just got to cover enough water and eventually you're going to run in. In tournament stands, you're going to run into a couple nice ones like that. So it's just burn and turn as much as you can. We've had a lot of nice opportunities. They're just not hooking up with us. They're just coming up and checking us out, but we're not getting, getting them hooked up. It's a lack of wind. 
that's what we're gonna blame it on anyway. Yeah, exactly. But just gonna keep moving around and run into a few more bites like that. Oh gosh, I seen that one hit it. Hit it like a good one. It looks big on here. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it this is how it should be. Acting like a big one, isn't it? Might be a striper. No, surely not. Oh, it's a freaking nice one. Is it a large mouth? It looks like it. No, big oh, spot. That's a big spot. God. Rage Swimmer 275. I'm trying to snag that heron. Pretty ones. Big and big. Fat and healthy. See how they're all eating these blue heron. I heard this same deal. We're just running around trying to hit as many points, many little humps as we can. We're starting to get a little area that's got a lot more activity. Fish are busting like we said, and we're starting to see a lot more on the graph. So that's what it's about right there. We were fishing for fishing, you know, sometimes 30 foot of water and their visual feeders, they come up a long ways yeah. for that bait. Yeah. And the biggest thing is um, you guys will see how much dead water there is. If you get around dead water, keep moving, keep yep. moving, keep moving, keep moving, because I promise you they're biting somewhere. And the key to that is just move around. We cannot preach it enough. Blueback heron fish are biting 24 seven somewhere on the lake. Until you find them, you will start catching them. Yep. Got him. Double up, come on. Double up, come on, eat it. Eat it, eat it. Golly, they're strong. There yeah, baby. Go. Look at the freaking heron coming out. Let me grab that heron. Here's a big one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's all right. Yeah, grab that thing. This right here is what they're eating. That's why we're throwing the caffeine shad, because it's a perfect match. A little side-by-side -side comparison there. Yeah. Perfect match. And that's what you get for it right there, yeah. They're pretty. Good colors on them. Fat. I chose to fish bass and MLF. Um, my reasoning behind that is I don't dislike either one of them. I just love to catch fish, and the more opportunities I have, the better off I feel like I'll be. I actually just made the, the old pro circuit, which is now called the Invitational, and uh, so I made it to the next level, which has been a goal and a dream of mine. And to accomplish that, oh, dude, that was a freaking good one. <laughs> like, really? They weigh a lot more than you think. That's a dang fat one there. It's a deal. Caffeine chat. God, they're pretty. Healthy. Dude, there's a lot of them more happening with that Is one. Is it? Dude, how many blows did we get right then? I lost. Oh, here's something good up there. See, y'all got me talking and the fish are biting up there. You got me, look at all them, dude. Bunch of them. My lord. <laughs> Ow. Another little calf. See how they're, he's hooked on the outside of the face. That, they're just swiping at it. That's, a, that's why we're missing so many of them. They're blowing up on us. Yeah, but you know, most importantly, back to what we was talking about, me and John both, we just, we wanna make a living at doing something we love to do and what we love to do is what we're doing right now. So I don't think either one of us is stopping until we make it. I am pretty fired up to uh, have made the invitation. We've kinda got on a little deal where we were fishing some obvious stuff, but now we've kinda slid back in here to 
you can kind of see just the mouth of these pockets. I'm sure a bunch of fish spawn off in here and use it in the spring. So we're just trying to hit some stuff that's, I don't feel like as much pressured as the obvious stuff. Because I mean, guys are out here doing a lot of the same thing that we're doing. So we're just trying to find something off the beaten path. I mean, we fished two of them and we've got bit off both of them. So more than one bite too. Oh my, did you see? That is a giant. God, what a bite. You got a big one too, don't you? Yep. Oh, they're about to cross. I'm on this. Oh, swap with me. I'm on the bigger now. Large mouth. How about that? Spot and a large mouth. Yep. That's what you get. Same pile. There you go, son, right here. Boom. Yep. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was that was fun. Uh, I think we need to call it a day on that. Yeah. Double and on a spot and a large mouth. That's what you get when you come to Lake Hartwell, though. Yep. You know, herring fish, they're running together. Water's low, it's really got them grouped up. And I mean, you can pan around on the floor. We have went through six or seven packs of caffeine yep. shads, eating a spook, got a little chop, but started eating it better. But hey, been a great day. We're gonna let these bad girls go. Go get some dinner, we'll catch y'all later. Yep. Hey everybody, thanks for watching and tuning in today. Make sure you go and subscribe to Kings of Bass TV on YouTube. One last thing, if you're coming to Lake Hartwell, stop and get you some sexy dogs and some caffeine shads. You will not be disappointed.